As a fan of the Fast and Furious franchise, I'd like to make a short video directed towards the writers and the creative team of the Fast franchise, asking questions like, why didn't they, they, why didn't they deliver the setup that had been set up in the first films, I'd just say. For example, on uh, the fourth movie, we meet Vince and his wife Rosa, and find out they have a son named Nico. Come to find out, named after Dominic. And so Dominic takes the role as Uncle Dom. And that's all we see of Rosa and Nico. Well, that was 2009, 2000, about right there. So wouldn't Nico be, you know, 13, 14 years old? Maybe old enough to ride a moped, at least? Maybe get into some trouble as a teenager? And then also Jack, Brian and Mia's boy, and I think they have two sons, so why not talk about them a little bit more? And bringing people back from the dead, um, I, I don't know, that's a, a bit much. I think they did a good job with Letty, that, that was an interesting twist, but I think it kind of got a little crazy with so many people coming back from the dead and then somebody's brother wanting revenge for the brother and so now the brother's brother becomes a villain but then also becomes part of the team and then now some villain has a nephew that wants revenge but you don't deliver things like hector you know in the first movie hector wants to go legit he wants to go on the nara circuit why haven't we seen hector's career Maybe he made it. I mean, we see Hector later on in a, you know, in a at, at Race Wars, at the recap, recap of Race Wars for bringing Letty's memories back. But, I mean, why don't we get to hear Hector's story? And same with the, the cast of the first movie. We don't see Leon. I mean, I mean, if, if movies can cast a different actor as the same character, like how many James Bond actors have there been maybe somebody could just be leon you know or leon has a brother and maybe giselle has a sister or giselle had a cousin because i mean like there's so many holes in the story that are unsatisfied like i'm not, I'm not satisfied like i want to know you know giselle and and han's love story and also what happened to leon and what happened to Carter Verone? Carter Verone goes to prison, and and Paul Walker and Tyrese they're talking about is he gonna get out? He's like, yeah, he's gonna get out, because you know Tyrese is over there taunting him, and yeah, it's like you set it up to be like he's gonna come back and get revenge, and we never see or hear from Carter, and we don't ever hear from from um, the agent played by Evan Mendez. We don't get to see Evan Mendez's character, except in a post-credits series where it's like, do you believe in ghosts? And that was great. You set it up to make it seem like Evan Mendez would be the the new the new protagonist. That she's gonna be hunting down, you know, whatever, continuing the continuing the the felon storyline. And Hector like bring back Hector and like that could have been a nice opening to a movie where Hector's bagging groceries or Hector is working at a garage and Dominic happens to cross paths with him and it's like hey what's up you know and maybe just close that say Hector did you ever go legit just hear that story and then maybe while they're talking the cousin of the villain comes up and starts starts talking trash with with Toretto or something and also Toretto's market they had this nice little uh cafe slash I think it's a grocery store Toretto's market and you know you don't you don't see that again they don't even really talk about it except for the first movie so I appreciate they did things like Dominic tells his story in the first movie of when he had a wrench and he just kept hitting him and hitting him I mean that was nice to see the play out of that storyline and introduce that there was a brother involved but at the same time there's a lot more a lot more setups that weren't delivered and as a fan of the fast and furious 
I'm really hoping that Fast 11, or possibly even Fast 10, ideally Fast 10 shows Nico as a 13-year-old. I mean, yes, he's been Brazil, but, I mean, they're traveling to Dubai, and, I mean, they're all over the world. Why couldn't you just go back to Brazil? Or, since your Uncle Dominic, and he's 13 years old, he can travel to wherever Dominic is. I mean, I think that would be a worthwhile pursuit. And maybe I love seeing all these A-list actors joining the franchise, but as a fan of the core of Fast and Furious, I feel like it's not as satisfying. Like, yes, it's great that we have these A-list actors come in on the scene, but really I'm not as satisfied hearing that. Because, I mean, we even introduced Tom. Dominic has a cousin in Cuba. What happened to that cousin? I mean... And then he made friends with the prote- with the antagonist in Cuba. It's like you had these connections made in Cuba, and we never hear or see from them. So I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lot of missed opportunities that hopefully the writers and creative team can revisit and give us the conclusion to that setup in maybe hopefully Fast 10, but Fast 11 hopefully maybe gears more towards Jack and Nico, and Brian Jr., because we now know Brian Jr. Yeah, I think that would be great to have them hand off the franchise to the next generation, as much as I love seeing the original cast, and as much as I love seeing the A-list new cast members, as a fan of the core, I would rather see more the roots of the Toretto family and the immediate branches thereof. So, thanks for watching.